Hello, APAP members and colleagues. I hope this finds you safe and well. My name is Lisa Richards Tony, and I am the new president and CEO of APAP. I bring you greetings from Washington, D.C., on the indigenous lands of the Piscataway and Anacostans. We acknowledge our native space as homage to what was here before. In acknowledging what was, we deepen our readiness to accept what is and what will become. And it is with eyes wide open to our past struggles, our current realities, and our future potential that I join you. I began consulting with APAP on June 1st, 2020, in preparation for assuming the role of president and CEO on July 1st. And I accepted this role, knowing that the COVID-19 pandemic had decimated the performing arts ecosystem and understanding that its effects have been devastating for many of you. It is sobering. And while APAP is here to serve you and lead you through these times, APAP itself is not immune. And so APAP starts our fiscal year, which also began on July 1st with hopes and expectations to overcome the sea of challenges we face. More than ever, our execution during this time will require a balance of shrewd management of resources and immense flexibility. An ability to ride the wave of this pandemic and its effects while reimagining the systems and structures that truly support our collective work our common values, our shared vision. The performing arts are essential. Art workers are essential. And while many shows must be paused at this moment, the energy around our comeback is building. There's no doubt in my mind that the world needs us and that the world will need us in the future, all of us. Against the backdrop of the pandemic, the performing arts field has been jarred awake by an international outcry for social justice in response to a cataclysmic racial injustice event. This long overdue collective outrage has given rise to a multitude of voices, amplifying the needs and expectations of Black artists and Black arts workers. While the performing arts is processing its own reckoning, we are encouraged by the display of humility and humanity in our field and the sincere desire and commitment to level, to change, and to grow. APAP's response to this outcry has been strong and steady, grounded in our strategic focus on racial equity, diversity, and inclusion. As a leadership and membership organization in service to performing arts professionals, we have an obligation to move with you. The inaugural and wonderfully successful Break From Conversation sessions we hosted in June are a testament to this visionary thinking and action. In light of the great uncertainty of this time, they were a beacon to guide us. For all its heartbreak, have you ever thought that maybe this pandemic is a catalyst for us to see, really see, it's 2020 y'all, see with all our faculties that which needs to change. How we share resources, how we stand up for and with one another, how we realign our work to march to the untethering beat of our eternal drum. We dismantle and rebuild the systems that don't serve our best values. We are being jolted to learn and be more courageous in living out these ideals. And this is the time to try them on. It may feel tight, too loose, frightening, and in some cases, too good to be true. Yes, we are being jolted. We are shifting, we are pivoting, this exceptional time 
of our decimating pandemic alongside the magnanimous call for racial justice will ultimately reset us. World history has given us proof. And so while this may not be business as you nor I have seen before, our human imprint has, and we call on that knowing that memory to steady us. Let us use this time, this liminal space between that which was and that which will be to truly center ourselves for change. At APAP, we are hard at work assessing and preparing and determining how best we will be in service leadership to you. APAP will stand with you as we help to establish our new balance as a field. Like you, APAP is also working to strengthen our infrastructure to ensure that our mission to develop and support a robust performing arts presenting, booking and touring field and the professionals who work within it is not dampered by this storm. Our commitment to hold space for you is stronger than ever. We hear your outcry for resources and programming that will help you reimagine, reopen, restart. We want to help you find your balance, tap your resilience, and fuel your recovery. I am honored to have been chosen to serve you as president and CEO of APAP, and I look forward to getting to know each and every one of you your challenges, your ideas, your fears, and your hopes. The APAP board and staff are all working hard to live up to this exceptional time in leading the field and supporting you. This is where our passion lies. We want you here and we are here for you. You have my personal commitment that we will do our best for you. Thank you.